Welcome back to Spur of the Moment. This is Jim, and today we're playing more Battletech. When we last left off, we were still building up more reputation with Capella Confederation, and I believe we still have one more contract in system. There we go. Uh, where we are doing an escort mission. Easily my least favorite, but um, looks like there might be some action on this one. Just a lot of, uh, a lot of skulls. You know, the kind of skulls that we actually have mechs for these days. So we're actually going to bring a team of pros for this one. There, sweeper. All right, let's get them. <clears throat> I feel like I've been in this kind of an area before with the whole drilling, but never during the daytime. They say he's under fire already. I don't believe them. Is that a spider? <clears throat> Where are the four... Skull worth enemies. What is this? <clears throat> this is going uh, really unfortunately for them. Oh my god, it's a cicada. So you'll take the brunt, you'll take the five, and... <clears throat> You know, I just don't want that spider to be gone, so we'll hit him with the 20. Wow, that hit with a lot for having such bad accuracy. I don't know, maybe it's not even worth it to shoot up the cicada right now. I'm gonna spend all my turns just getting its um, evasion down. Yeah, we're gonna put a scratch and fire into the cicada right now. Make sure that Wolverine goes down. Man, he sold them together pretty well.
<clears throat> That's a smart idea. Get my uh, least armored mech. That was not as strong an idea. I don't know if this is uh, going to jive with the stray shots, but we'll give it a shot. Yeah, I guess you really can't stray shot when you hit with everything. That seems about right. Oh, wow. He's just, he's KO'd. Now that I think about it, I really didn't need to split that 5 over. Black Widow's going to have to shoot that guy with everything. <clears throat> eh. Not every decision can be the right one. So mean to this guy. Cicada. It's not not a good look. I, I wouldn't recommend that look. Everybody, give those guns a cool down. Where is the... Where are we taking these guys? Over there, huh? I guess there is a platform over there. What do you look at that? A panther. A 
do like a quick draw or something. A fire starter. Hmm. Let's you know, just just shoot this guy. We'll split fire on everybody else. No need to worry about the fire starter yet. We'll let him get isolated. I gotta say, this game really makes for a terrible car driving simulator. Yeah, that seems good. Alright, well that's some weapon system destroyed. Not the PPC by the looks of it. Yep, not the PPC. Firestar is just, uh, just doing his own thing. I like that. Yeah, Panther. Oh, still up.
so fine. Ah, the cars are shooting. Oh, that's not good. That's not good for him. Hey, now. Any one of those could start actually, you know, setting off ammo explosions up in here. Very close to losing a lot of LRMs over here. You think you're going to be responsible for that? I wouldn't want to pick up that bill either. I kind of want to put everything on the Shadow Hawk, but... You know what? He is going to put everything on the Shadow Hawk. Oh, laser to the core. And we'll have the widow here just lob a little little fifteen over onto them. Bound to get two in the chest. Speed along this caravan of vehicles a little bit. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, we didn't shoot him yet. He still wants to fight the vehicles in the convoy. It's <clears throat> going right for that arm. Take him down before he shoots at you. Yes. machine gun there. <clears throat> fire starter, meet better fire starter. You know what, you are heating up a little bit, just just punch him. See if that works. Nope, that did not work. I think you're mistaken, unfortunately. Come on, 15, another one. Great. Wondrous, in fact. Now I just gotta speed along these vehicles. <clears throat> Come on, guys. Get to your homes. There we go. A little gas. 
little gas. Everybody gets a space bar, and so we're at combat. <clears throat> Assuming there's going to be more combat. Oh yeah, there's more combat. All right. What are we actually dealing with now? So, let's see how the group rounds out here. What do you got next? Ugh, boring. It's really just those three? Only you three showed up at work today, huh? Get him set up for a bad time. Just in range of getting perfect accuracy. Or at least as perfect as it gets for uh, this game. Alright, well, yeah, that's much better. It's like 20% better than before. Literally 20% better, not actually a 20% better than he had before. Percentages are weird when you talk about it like this. You're going the wrong way, guys! Sorry, quick draw. Your team did not want to help you.
guess we'll just soften them up since they've got defensive bonuses on. running out on these. Come on, cars, get in there, get gone. Love it when we get full money for these missions. So according to the update, um, or expansion notes, or whatever you want to call it, um, they have increase the number of variables that can happen in battle. You can actually get allies showing up now. You can get uh, enemies showing up at different times. Uh, lot, lot, you know, some interesting stuff. <sighs> One thing, though, that would be, I feel, kind of neat, would be to give the enemies an option to, you know, eject in completely untenable situations, like this. This situation is garbage for these guys. There's no way they can even bring down one mech unless I just decide I'm going to do nothing but melee them. P.S. I'm not doing that. And, you know, it's, it's hopeless. They should just eject. Ejecting would be perfect because, A, uh, you wouldn't be stealing loot from the players, you know, they'd still get the loot for the person ejecting, um, and it would just make more sense. These guys don't want to die for this, they're just a bunch of pirates. This is not that important. I don't know, maybe it would make the game too easy. But even then, they could make the game more difficult somehow. You know, more mechs to start, but... You know, once they're down to two or three, or whatever sort of rating system they they might come up with, they have them fall back. They run away. Maybe it'd just be too tough to figure out exactly the parameters that make it seem reasonable for them running away, their strength relative to our strength. No, oh, you left cover. Why would you leave cover? So you could shoot at the side of this grasshopper? You got some ice cubes ready, man. You're about to get socked in the face. Not exactly a socking that I was expecting, but... At least it didn't miss, you know? We'll, we'll call it a... Call it a win. Alright, so... A little bit of damage, not too bad. We're about to leave the system anyways. Uh, find ourselves a new pasture. Play around in. Uh-huh. 
Oh, is there any good gear? Some flamers. I don't really care about that. Accuracy, medium lasers. Nothing. Okay. Well, then we're just gonna grab some things that we can sell for a quick buck. <laughs> oh yeah, piece of Wolverine. Yeah, we got the whole Wolverine. So yeah, you know, that's that's actually going to be a really nice payday. That's going to be three mechs where it'll just sell off right away. Yeah, all those mechs that I did not ask for. Store them. All of them. Get them ready for the shop. Fix that guy's arm. Come on. You're done. You're done. You're done. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I could pull that guy out. See if maybe we want to do some work with him. We just have so much time that we're going to be traveling. Probably. Let me check the star map first before I make that declaration. Man, there are not a lot of flashpoints. The World's League. Nerves versus Davians. Yang! Uh... What? Sounds awesome. Ugh, oh, it's so far out of our way. Let's do it. Maybe we can upgrade the engines on the way. Another new flashpoint was added. Interesting. Actually, now that I think about it, we it's not possible we got to an alliable level with the hmm, reputation. There we go. No, we still got another step to go. All right. All right. Hey, you know, it makes sense. Back to traveling. Oh, I swear, if Yang has me fighting Capellans, I'm gonna be pretty sad. Dirty rotten scoundrels. The comms buzz wakes you. Darius is a message from the planet's surface. You're not going to believe this, Commander. It's Aisha Hadley. Ah, uh, <clears throat> Commander Wolf! I feel awful about how we left things, but no hard feelings, right? I really didn't want to go to jail. 
Seeing your store, stony response, she continues. Unlike you, Commander, you must know that. So I just had to bring you this opportunity that could benefit us both. She continues as if you'd agreed. You have a mech warrior in a, your employ that goes by the call sign Saberwolf. He is the spitting image of a certain daffing official who has access to a Midran research facility I'd very much like to get inside of. Let me borrow him for a few weeks. If you play along, I'll give you one of whatever I find in there. What do you say? Partners? Um. Oh. I, you know. Uh, okay. You know, we are going to go along with it. Saber Wolf waves goodbye as he climbs on board the shuttle. Darius arches an eyebrow at you, clearly as curious as you as to how this will turn out. Later that week, you receive a coded message from Miss Hadley. Commander, thanks for loaning me your mech warrior. He's a natural. I've already met, I've already, I've already arranged a shipment of the fruits of our labors. She shrugs innocently, but I'm going to have to hang on to Saber Wolf for a few weeks longer. I have some new leads I need to follow, and it's a two-person job. Uh, well, <clears throat> hmm. So Saber Wolf is a criminal now, unavailable for 30 days, but we do get some sweet auto cannons. You know, I'm going to say that is 100% worth it. Saber Wolf is super a backup for us anyways. He's not seen a single mission. I doubt we'll need him in the next 30 days. Great. Ah, uh, you always say so. Probably right, though. Alright, yeah. Let's boost these engines up to 30%. Okay. Can't believe it's so cheap. Okay, so we got a couple of new flashpoints that popped up. Maybe next time we'll kiss one of those if it helps the Capellans. Alright, <clears throat> let's see what we got here. Also, how does Yen gonna afford to pay us all this money? Alright, Yang, we're already in Electra, so let's hear it. What's this juicy opportunity you've got lined up for us? A great big glittery showroom full of limited production battle mechs. We're talking mint condition museum pieces. A private collection of one of House Davian's preeminent collectors. We play our cards right, and they're ours for the taking. Short XO, I've got lined up for us. It's a good old fashioned heist. Mm -hmm. Not strictly criminals, but we're not strictly not criminals. Does this collector have a name? It'd be nice to know who we're planning to rob. Mitchell Graves, an ex corporate, made a mint working as an interim CEO of Cybcom Davion Intro Tech then more than quadrupled his money by manipulating the aerospace market. Long story short, this guy's a white-collar criminal. He's filthy rich, but otherwise unremarkable. And he collects battle mechs. I'll be damned if he knows how to pilot one. Sounds like the kind of guy that I'd have no problem stealing from. So, how do you propose we do it? First off, we have to get our mech warriors into the showroom somehow. We can't just blast our way in without damaging, damaging the merchandise, so... Frontal Assault is out. If we want to get those mechs out of the showroom in one piece, we're going to have to trick Graves in dropping his guard. As it happens, we've got a plan for that. Okay. Graves has a rival. This guy named Wallow. He's another rich asshole with a military hardware fetish. And a couple months ago, he outbid our guy on some vintage mech parts. Graves needs those components for an old griffin he's restoring. But Wallow won't sell. You with me so far? I hope so, because coming up to the good part. Okay, so last month, Wallow leased an old aircraft hangar on the edge of Kortka City. He's planning on using it to facilitate another deal, some sort of aerospace acquisition, I think. 
and he's brought his griffin components with him, presumably for the purpose of us pissing off Graves. Now here's the, where the plan gets clever. If we hit, if we were to capture Wallow's hangar and then leave it defenseless, Graves would go for it. He'd send his own security detail to steal Wallow's griffin bits. And that will give our people all the opportunity they need to slip in on foot and infiltrate Graves' showroom. Then our, our mech warriors would ascend, abscond with their pick of Graves' battle mechs. It's a fine plan, but what happens if the mechs are secured in some way? No offense to our valiant pilots, but if we're if getting these museum pieces up and running is more complicated than pressing the on button, I'm not sure they're up for the task. You're right, they won't. And that's why I'm going with them. Feet on the ground, like I did my army days. Now I'll get the next run and hitch a ride back out on, with one of our pilots. Won't be my first date with a rumble seat. Sounds like a plan, Yang. I'll assemble a lance to wipe out Wallow's guards. Damn glad you're with me on this, boss. Damn glad. I'd give you the mother of all high fives if I didn't think it'd break you. Let's get to work, everybody. It's gonna be great. You know what? This is gonna be great. He's completely sold me on this. As long as the mission loads up. Okay. Oh, this first part we get no money for. Hot dog. We'll just take the standard team. Probably be able to get in and get out without too much trouble. Oh, looks like it's a night raid. Unknown battle mech lands. So be advised that you are trespassing on protected territory. Turn back or you will be destroyed. Huh? At least he offered. You know, if we get blown up, it's nobody's fault for ourselves. But I have it on shitty authority that, uh, this is gonna be a cakewalk. See nothing yet? Not even like turrets? Right, well, let's head for the cover then. I've got eyes on this the hangar commander, and what's more, Fair has gotten me access to Wallow's internal security cameras. They weren't even encrypted. For a security company, these SSI people aren't very good. You can say that again. I'm taking a look inside. I always got something big in there, but I can't quite make out. Oh. Oh. Wow. Don't leave us in suspense, Meyer. What are you looking at in there? A thing of beauty, XO. He's got about 80% of a Galeo instrument's Achilles up on block there. It's an absolute monster of a dropship. More than twice as big as our Leopard, and it's armed like a warship to boot. Then we should be be relieved it's on the blocks. Let's get the show back on the road, Commander. The sooner we wipe out Wallow's guards, the sooner we can move on Graves' showroom. Man, that sounds awesome. Couldn't we like take take that? Is eighty percent not enough to get flying? Also, where are these dudes? to get like super ambushed or what? Okay, a 70 ton battle mech, 75, probably an Orion, that's kind of cool. Oh, 
Wow, that's some new ton back there. Uh, vehicle is going real fast. So what do we got here? Oh, uh, you, you can say that. Okay, I think this is one of the new vehicles. I can't believe it's light and 70 tons. Let's see what kind of damage it takes. <laughs> I'll give it credit, it takes damage like you'd expect a 70 ton machine to take. Let's just hit it with 15. really don't have anything else I want to do. Alright, Manticore, that's not new. You take the first shot on this guy. And the last shot. You know, hey, I'm okay with that. Just have these two just, uh, just chill. about that vehicle. Yep, that's a striker all right. No question about that. That's an Orion. That Orion is <laughs> Oof. Taking it so badly from behind. Uh, oof, there's no coming back for this Orion. Do we get it in one turn? Boom! Alright, one turn. Yeah, that was a good mission, Yang. I think we can call that a 100% success. What the fuck is that? An incoming message from Mr. Wallow. I don't understand you people. You've captured my aerospace hangar and now you're, what, running away? Looks that way. Word of the wise, Graves. Security team will be coming along any second now. You don't want them tearing the hangar down around you. I'd recommend moving your Griffin clones out to the front yard. 
I'd also recommend that you password protect your security cameras, because your security team doesn't have the faintest idea what it's doing. I appreciate your warning, miss. Call me Sam, and I noticed that you've got nearly complete Achilles in there. I'm a thief, not a monster. I don't want to see a marvel like that get destroyed. That's very kind of you, Sam. Hell, it's downright cordial. I'll try to keep this little exchange in mind next time we meet, because there will be a next time, Sam. And when it comes, I'll be the one holding the cards. No, doesn't look like it does. Yeah, I'll take another Orion. I'll take a plus 10 damage, uh, or plus 2 damage all around. 10? Okay, cool. I'd love to give him that experience. Not gonna get the chance. The Eagle has landed, boss. We're in the showroom surrounded by a whole bunch of really pretty battle mechs. Real talk, these beauties are polished as a bodybuilder's bicep. You told me that Grave spent 10 hours a day rubbing the baby oil on him. I'd believe it. Charming. Just calling it like I see it, dog. These babies are slick. Interesting variety of chassis, too. I can't wait to see what kind of components they're packing. I just wish there was some way we could take the entire collection home with us, you know? It feels like almost negligent condemning such beautiful machines to languish in moist, glistening captivity. There's a phrase I never need to hear again. Look, Yang, can you get those mechs running or not? I got it, XO. There's some fluids I'll need to pump and a few locks to disengage, but the battle mechs themselves are in showroom condition. Shouldn't take long to get them going, is what I'm saying. I just need a decision on which four mechs we're going to bring online. Alright, Yang, what, tell us what we got. Well, the way I see it, there are two options we can take here. We can swap the lighter lands and try to slip away clean, or we can take a bunch of bruisers and blast our way out. There's as much sense in taking a mixed lands, because at the end of the day, we're only going to be able to move as fast as our slowest back. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Um, so, boss, do we take the hot rods or the monster trucks? Obviously, your he average heavy mech is a lot more valuable than a light is, but these particular lights are pretty rare. There's a Vindicator variant in here. The Avenging Angel that I've never even seen before. Um, let's take the big ones. I want the heavy lines. On it, boss. The monster it is. Tell Sirmeyer to be ready. We're going to need a pickup as soon as we hit the LZ. The moment Graves realizes what we've done, his security team is going to be on, hot on our trail. And now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to land some absolutely beautiful fighting machines to liberate, Commander. Lance is going to need your help to get out of here, so I'll be in touch with you soon via comm link. Feeling luck, we'll catch the rest of you shortly thereafter. Till then, take care of yourselves. Yang, out. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get the mech words to move that experience. Sure. Ah. Alright, let's get down there and take those mechs. Well... It's not like the best lance I've ever seen. Maybe I should have taken the lights. These look boring. 
Okay, so they're already outside the facility. You know, considering that this mission had to have come with the the new content, the urban warfare, I'm amazed that we're not fighting in a city. All right. <clears throat> Commander, we've got a problem down here. Grave's security team is closing in on us, and we're going to have to fight our way out. That's not a problem, that's just the mission. I've, I've looked them up. It's another paramilitary security team, Paladin Protection LLC. That's a name to inspire terror in the mercenary heart. Give them hell, Commander. When the AO is clear, I'll head down and pick up our new mechs. Alright, so... See, this one's got lasers and an LRM-10, two LRM-20s and a small, two small lasers, AC-5, two units, LRM-10, and, uh, well, a pretty basic Kentaro. Okay, well. Let's see how things go. I gotta say though, Yang was right. These mechs are buffed and shiny. They're so white, so so shilt silvery. Start, uh, maybe we start doing stuff. Okay, <clears throat> so that's it. I actually have to get the whole lance out, uh, honestly. I applaud them for it, because so often you can uh, succeed a mission by having one person in the extraction point and just eject everybody else, so... It sounds good to me. Yeah! What do you got, paladins? No need to build up too much heat. Just gotta drop the evasion a little bit. Even got a hit on it. A plus. Can we afford to send a 20 at each of these? Yeah, I think I should die from one. No! Yeah, that's what you'd expect from a Jenner. Uh, let's take another reservation. Oh, he's gonna get line of sight. Hmm. Oh, it's a bulldog. Let's see. He really has nothing left to go.
Yeah. It's either of those two which should be destroyed. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> One less thing shooting at us. Excellent. Everything hit the shadow, huh? Everything hits. Uh, well, it's going to be such poor to hits. Might as well put one over on the Jenner. I think our Kentaro is going to have no choice but to hit that, so... Ugh. So I'm going to have to go on one pretty much. Mm. You know what, we're going to make sure that Bulldog doesn't take another shot. You know, Kentaro can shoot this guy up. Alright, that's what we'll do then. We can knock him over. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's getting knocked over. Will he stand up? Sure. But he'll have that uh, targeting penalty, and he's down some weapon systems. Beautiful. Oh, that's good for us. Real bad for that Jenner. said it before, I'll say it again. You never want to be lying on the ground in a light mech. I suppose this mission would have been way too easy if we didn't have uh, more Max coming to get us. But I'm now in a slight panic about it. Huh. OK. 
Okay, just just one at her own. That's us. Oh. Oh. Thirty, sixty, forty-five. It's just the three of them. Do I get to go first? Maybe I'll just see if I can't take this high ground. I don't... I don't have no missile capacity. I can certainly rain down on them for a bit before they get into actual combat with us. And we'll, we'll just let them all take their turn. Get a little move. sense. I hate to say it, but good paint jobs on these guys too. Nice. I have to use jump jets next turn to make some distance off up here. Or we just start fighting them in earnest, I suppose. Nah. Catapult is one of them. You wounded the Black Widow? Now you've done it. Now you're in for it. Oh, did I? No, that looks like, that looks like 40 missiles. Make sure the big boy goes down. Oh, nice little laser blackjack. Just everything at that guy. Oh no, that guy.
な来るかはなAll right, let's do what we always do in this scenario and make a bad play. Split that fire. Yeah, all right, not a bad play this time. Yeah, go ahead and punch the little guy. See what that does for us. It's not the bulwark. Not huge, but not nothing. Oh, will we knock him over? Probably not with his first volley, but we're going to get a second volley before he gets to go. In which case, yes, we will definitely tip him over. Oh, look at him go. What a trooper. business. That wasn't exactly what I meant, but it'll work. sense, right? Oh yeah. It makes every bit of sense in the world. That's what I call a heist for beautiful mechs, all for the bargain price of two short combat drops and a couple of pissed off rich guys. Honestly boss, you should let me plan our deployments more often. 
might want to hold off on that clothing, Yang. We've got a problem. You, you remember that Achilles-class dropship we saw in Wallace Hangar? The one that was up on blocks and nowhere near ready for launch? Mm, yeah? It's right on top of us. You better get in here, Commander. Walla wants to talk. <laughs> Yang says, Great. Thanks, Yang. Okay, well, that's, that's cool to have. No spiffy gear, huh? Well, let's go ahead and let's take the jetter part. Hmm. Yeah. Hello again, Sam. Hello, Commander Wolf. I told you I'd pay you back for what you did to my hangar. You owe me, and I'm here to collect. Well, so this guy would be a mistake while I've got four of Graves' prize battle mechs right here in a leopard. It'd be a real shame to wipe out this top quality where hardware, wouldn't it? You're right, it would. But you see, I've got a conundrum on my hands. Just think about it for a second. Put yourself in my shoes. I'm a man of status, that much is obvious. Look at my ship. Get out of the blue, I get accosted by a pack of grubby little mercenaries to take my security and leave me defenseless. Now, obviously, I can't let something like that slide. So, what's a heavily armed, proud, and angry man like me to do? In your shoes, I think I'd be most interested in getting my hands on Graves' battle necks. At the end of the day, we're just a bunch of grubby mercenaries. Who cares what happens to us? But Graves is a man of stature, and annoying him uh, is your bread and butter. Come on, Wallow. You don't want to kill us. We're cordial, remember? That has to count for something. You got a few positive qualities, I'll admit. You gave Graves a black eye, and that put a smile on my face. Tell you what, I'm going to let you go. I'll even let you keep one of Graves' brawlers. But you're giving the other three to me to cover repairs for my security team and compensation for their families. Don't bother haggling. This is the best offer you're going to get. Well? I'm going to definitely go with the catapult. Yeah. That seems fun. Excellent choice. The catapult is a hell of a machine. You go ahead and drop my merchandise in the field below you, then scurry off to that bloated whale of a dropship you got waiting in orbit. The Arco is not a whale. Sorry, that was impolite of me. She is a lovely ship. See, I could be cordial too. This concludes our business, Wolf. For what it's worth, this has been one of the first genuinely, genuinely interesting days I've had in some time. I suppose I've got you to thank for that. Uh, you can thank me, actually. The job was my idea. Don't mention it. So glad we could settle our little matter am amicably. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to instruct my people to retrieve my new mechs. Goodbye, Commander. Enjoy your new merchandise, and in the future, do us both a favor and stay out of my way. Well... We didn't get everything we wanted, but we walked away with a shiny new catapult. It's better than our usual score, and yet it's so much worse than what it's supposed to be. Yeah, them some bricks, I guess, but I can't bring myself to feel all the bad about it. We got a new toy, and I can't wait to check it out. It counts as a win in my book. Alright, so yeah, we got the battle mech. And we got some... Well, we got a great LRM-20. That's a huge win. The gyro's nice. Yeah, for as easy as that was, that was, that was pretty nice.
pretty nice indeed. Hmm. Cool. All right, well, we'll check. Uh, who am I kidding? We're going to check out that mech right now. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. All right, so you, you go on the pile. You already have all your pieces installed, huh? Interesting. So, let's see. Oh, I'm 20, I'm 20. Lots of LRM ammo. Two small lasers. I don't have any good SRMs anyways. So you know what? We'll let that one stand as it is. And we'll just deck this guy out. Now, what do we want to do with this guy? So is this the one with less armor? Yeah, this is less armor, so... At the end of the day, giving it more armor would not be a bad idea. Yeah, what if we change it up a little bit, made it more of a hardcore sniper? Not somebody who missiles over things, but shoots things really hard from long range. Oh yeah, we cannot have both of those. We still get another uh, 20 fit in here? Uh, close. Get the LRM 10 in there. Let's get some ammo for this. Hmm. You know what? Since it's got to be visible anyways, yeah, let's get that gyro in there. Let's see, we need some LRM ammo. Some AC 10 ammo. How much is in one box of these? Eight? Probably fine. Let's see. Five tons left. Let's get ourselves a heat sink. And. Get one of these shiny lasers. Maybe another heat sink. And we will uh, max out the armor. What does that give us for armor? 1080? Yeah, I'm good with 1080. Let's see if this odd monstrosity does uh, just get out in the field or not. See what new flashpoints popped up. Not that we'll do any of them right away. Yeah, not really trying to fight the Capellans. Why does everyone want to fight the Capellans? Why can nobody have one for the Capellans? Jeez. Okay. You know, I guess I never actually checked to see if there was uh, contracts out here. In the out contracts? Oh. Alright, let's head here first. See if there's any jobs over there. Enough. 
the work areas. Just keep those supplies coming in. Nice. Not a latrine. I don't like where this is going at all. Quicksand stops in your quarters, dragging Sweeper behind her. Sweeper mistook my bunk for a latrine. Again! Quicksand wrinkles her nose. Third time this month. Jesus. She stumbles forward. I, I can explain, she slurs. Her breath stinks like gasoline fumes and paint thinner, making your eyes water. It's not even noon. Quicksand narrows her eyes at her. Did it. They're having a good time, and then there's this. She'll get us killed if she's deployed in this state. Um, that's... God. Alright, well... I can't have people pissing in other people's beds. Uh, so, Sweeper, you're gonna get embarrassed. This ends today. You nod your head to quicksand. Turning from the mech warriors, you turn down on the com you turn on the comms and call the entire outfit to the mess for an impromptu meeting. Once everybody's gathered in the mess, you order Sweeper to step forward as you stand on a table and raise your voice. Normally, I would call you out here like this. Unfortunately, it only takes one drunk or hungover mech warrior to endanger the rest of the outfit. Until Sweeper sobers up, all liquor rations will be cut. Sweeper glares at you defiantly, has turned towards her with a mix of frustration and concern. The next day, Darius reports quicksand uncovered and destroyed Sweeper's stash of hooch. Unfortunately, Sweeper gave her a black eye. I disciplined her, but I'll need to keep an eye on Sweeper from now on. Okay, so Sweeper is rebellious now, and morale's been decreased. Uh, you know, sometimes doing the right thing, it's not fun. Come on, pissing in someone's bed, that's terrible. Alright, well let's go ahead and get the morale up with the most expensive option we have available to us, which is, they're all the same. Alright, zero G pool it is. Show them what we got out here. Uh, do we have any contracts? Four house the owl. We do. We do have some contracts for house the owl. Solid ones too, from the looks of it. Great. Fantastic. But that also means this is where this video is going to end. So, thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to join us next time when we'll be uh, running around this system for House Liao. Thanks for watching, and have a good night.